What is up guys and today we have for you a beginner's guide of Arena of Valor. My name is Backstabax and I'm going to describe to you guys what is Arena of Valor. So Arena of Valor is a MOBA or also known as a multiplayer online battle arena in which a player controls a single character in a team who then competes versus another team to destroy the opposing team's main structure. Examples of MOBAs are League of Legends, you know, Dota 2, and also MOBA MOBA, known as Vainglory. It's pretty much the closest thing to Arena of Valor, because Arena of Valor is also a mobile MOBA. So, when did Arena of Valor begin? Tencent had began the beta release in October 2015. Now, this was solely tied to the agent server, and I believe predominantly, you know, uh, Chinese players played this in 2016. There was over... 50 million daily users in China and over 200 million monthly users and by this time the game was only pretty much you know played in China so that's an insane amount of people playing every single day and monthly. Now in July Arena Valor was released to Europe or really early August and no word has been set about the NA release but we're hoping and keeping our hands crossed for you know really early 2018 hopefully January if no no later than March hopefully let's pray for that but yeah all right so you got through step one of installing arena of valor so now you get to sign up as a guest or on Facebook so on Facebook it's great so you can link off all your friends on Facebook but you know you can always just sign up as a guest and keep your progress as well okay so you signed up you've chosen your username hopefully it's a good username but don't be alarmed if it's not. You can always switch your username in the future in exchange for vouchers. So now, you've gone through the training camp and you're ready for the next step of Arena of Valor. Glory days! Okay, so let's go through the in-game options. So pretty much you're gonna start with uh, camera distance. Now, with camera distance, the favorable distance is far. So now you can see more of the map, you can see more of your opponents. If you go normal, look at that, it's way closer. And if you go close, it's just way too close up and personal, so you can't really see your surroundings and what's going on around you. So make sure you always go to settings, general, and pretty much go to far. So you can pretty much see more of the map, and it's just better overall. Alright, sweet. So you have your camera distance at far. Now, most people don't know that you can put your camera distance at far. So just by doing that, you're going to be able to spot your opponents a lot easier. And like myself, I lasted all the way to level 14 without really messing with the settings. So I was like, how are people seeing me before I am? So I saw the settings and I noticed, oh, you can go far. Alright, sweet. That's why they can see me before I can. So definitely it's going to be an advantage. Make sure you guys thank me in the comments. Okay. So pretty much the rest of these settings don't really matter up until HD display. Now this really matters. Now, you know, Arena of Valor is a really intensive game and you want to run the highest FPS possible frames per second. And pretty much if you have a Razer phone or the latest Android or iPhone, you should be fine running, you know, the highest quality HD display. But, you know, let's say you don't. You, if you don't, you know, you want to bring down your particle quality for sure because that's just pretty much you know the details of the game and doesn't really you know affect the gameplay so much but you know we all want that HD display so I keep my HD display on and my HD quality at really high except for particle quality I can either go medium or I go low just so I can get the most frames per second okay so the next step is pretty much camera movements so camera movement allows you to explore the map without your character actually being there. So camera movement is usually off, but you can turn it right on to joystick or slide. Personally, I prefer slide just because it's a little more accurate. You can check out joystick right here. You know, you can go all over the place, that's fine. And then as soon as you release your finger, it goes right back to your character. And the same thing with slide, but slide's a little bit more accurate. So definitely check out slide, check out joystick, see which one you prefer. But I prefer slide just because it's more accurate. Alright guys, the next step in the settings is pretty much controls. So now for target lock mode, make sure you guys go on choose target because it will give you these little things in the bottom to choose either minions or champions. So let me go ahead and show you guys for example. So if I choose a little minion thing, it was going to choose a minion, you see it's targeted right there. And definitely if I click it again, it's going to choose another minion. And if I click it again, it's going to choose the other minion. But if I want to target the champion, just click on the top side and then it targets the champion. And there we go, it's only going to attack the champion, and that definitely helps at first. 
But if I want to target minions, there it is. I can switch targets on minions as well to the first, second, third. Pretty much just awesome concept overall. All right, guys. So pretty much for target priority. So lowest HP amount, you know, is pretty much the lowest hero closest to death or lowest HP percentage. So pretty much if you have a tank and he's at 20%, you can have over 1,000 HP over, you know, someone that's lowest HP amount. So pretty much you want to target the lowest HP amount. I think it's a little better than lowest HP percentage. But for the rest, you know, you can leave it at hide avatars uh, for default. And then the rest of the two, there's only two options. You can't really deselect them. So just leave them at how they are. You have no other option. All right, guys. So pretty much the next step is interface. We got through generals. We got through controls. And now we're going to get into interface. So pretty much quick buy placements. I prefer having my quick buy on the right side just to kind of keep it away from the expanded mini map on the left. Pretty much it, it can be on either side. Both could be on the same side, both could be on the opposite, both could be on the right side. It's pretty much what you prefer. So here we go. I got it. my shop on the left. It's gonna be separate from my expanded mini map on the left. And pretty much I can ping my opponents like that while buying, etc., and uh, still seeing my shop. So that's what I prefer, uh, but it's definitely what you know you guys enjoy better. So. Pretty much for the quick buy info, it's pretty much what you prefer, chat room, etc. Uh, the rest of these settings are pretty much straightforward. Mini map outline, you know, if you want the little box to show exactly what you're looking at in the mini map, that's fine as well. In terms of sound effects, pretty much your music, you can turn that on, you can turn that on. Sound effects, uh, voice chat, if you want to hear people in game as well, on or off. All right, guys, so now we're going to go to the top left side of the map. We're going to start off with none other less but my profile. Here we go, we get to see my level, uh, win rate percentages, rounds played, heroes owned, credibility score, you know, make sure you always keep that at 100, make sure you're not leaving so you can keep getting your free gifts from the game, as well as battle stats, favorite champions, player card, you know, it shows that I'm silver, highest rank, silver two, uh, preferred row, assassin, marksman, these are all little uh, interesting things, it shows your combat history, uh, pretty much how many wins, losses you have, not looking too good for me, a lot of losses in there, but you know. That's just uh, how we start off always. Uh, next step is the shop. So with the shop, you know, you can spend real in-game or real money from your wallet to buy stuff like uh, skins and champions, which is, you know, awesome. But if not, if you want to go to the free-to-play route, you can as well. It will take a little bit more of a grind uh, to pretty much go the free-to-play route as, you know, getting the champion could take a couple weeks. But, you know, eventually... You'll have all the champions with due time. Uh, for skins, so to get most of the skins, you know, you do require in-game currency. I have about three skins that I've won, and uh, that's pretty much all the skins I have right now. So it's it's not impossible to get skins, but it, it is pretty hard without spending in-game money. And for Arcana, Arcana are really, really expensive. What I recommend with Arcana, we'll get into a whole guide a little bit later, but, you know, always buy the level 3 Arcana. Just because if you buy the level 1, it's actually great. It helps your hero just a little bit amount. But you're pretty much spending uh, gold that you don't necessarily need to spend on. But it's always better to have some arcana better than none, right? So here we go. We got the voucher shop. This is, you know, again, you got to spend uh, your credit card on. Credit card, real money on it. Gem shop is actually really, really good. You can get, I think it's, I believe it's three heroes with gems. I already purchased them. I forgot which ones they were. But make sure you get your three heroes with gems as soon as you get enough gems to buy them. And for daily, you know, you got all these little things that you can buy with gems as well. So awesome, awesome thing. So I can buy my five magic crystals for 250 gems. I think it's each possibly. We'll buy one right now. So I buy one. Let's go ahead and then now we can use it like use the little one uh little what do you call those things? Magic crystals to use the lucky draw. So let's see what I get from this lucky draw. Circling through. Give me some luck. This is for a YouTube video. And I've received a new skin. All right. Beautiful, guys. So that's how you can use uh, those little lucky crystals to get skins, as you see that I just did. Okay, so now you're asking, I have to spend all this gold, all this time to get champions, or I have to spend money to get champions. This game seems really pay to win backstab. Well, there's another great, great option that AOV has introduced, and it's called the Road to Glory. 
So the Road to Glory, pretty much, if you play three matches a day, you unlock a champion. So this is absolutely amazing. It's only three matches, guys. And pretty much all you have to do is keep your score, your credibility score, up. And if you have that, you can unlock champions. And pretty much look at all these champions you can unlock for free. And, you know, you, all you have to do is play three matches. And pretty much you can cut your time down by significant amounts if you play 3 by 3v3 skirmish. Because the matches pretty much only last four to six minutes. They're pretty quick. But if you want to play 5v5 and you want to win three matches, that's also a great option as well. I love the road to glory and I think it's great. I can't wait to unlock Butterfly. Okay guys, so we got through the heroes. Now things get a little bit more complicated from here on out. So here we go. Well, we're gonna go and talk about a little bit about Arcana. What are Arcana? So Arcana is a way that you can power your hero up slightly. So pretty much let's click on Arcana right here. So pretty much we have an empty page right now. So on this empty page, you know, as soon as I uh, click on it right here, I got all these little arcanos or uh, that I can implement and power up my hero in game. So here we go. I'm going to click on this one right here. So that powers up my hero uh, with uh, plus two attack damage and 3.6 armor piercing. And that's going to be in game as well. So pretty much you can stack them all up. There it is. Fill that page up. So now let's go to the purple arcana. We're going to fill that one up as well we're gonna put the HP arcana. And there it is. And now we're on third. We're on little teals. And we're going to go ahead and click them as well. We're going to power up our hero significantly. So here we go. That's our attribute bonus. It shows you how much we're powering our in-game hero up. So now, how do I get Arcana? So Arcana is actually pretty expensive, guys. Um, you don't want to buy level 1 Arcana. Especially you don't want to buy level 2. Because once you get to a certain level, um, level 1 or level 2 Arcana, you're pretty much never going to use again. You can sell them, but for very insignificant value. So maybe you do want to start off with level 1, but that's pretty much it. I wouldn't buy level 2 Arcana at all. But for me, I'm buying all level 3 Arcana. I'm not saving any time. I'm not wasting any time. I'm going straight to you know powering my heroes as much as possible. So I play and I main 80 carry. So of course, I want more attack damage for my heroes and maybe like armor piercing so that's exactly what i'm going for that's what exactly what i'm buying and i'm buying them before i buy any heroes so just to show you guys how useful arcana can be and you know you can also buy the purple arcana uh this is kind of like more of like a movement speed slash defense arcana so i'm not like buying those Exactly, yet yeah, I'm focusing more on the damage side of things, so I'm buying the teal and the red ones first, and then I'm gonna buy the purple ones last. And I'm buying all level 3 arcana, so make sure you guys don't spend any money on level 2 unless you get them uh, out of a chest or something like that. I wouldn't buy level 2 arcana because, in the end, in the long run, level 3 is gonna serve you so much money, so it's, it's way, way better to just spend it on um, level 3 arcana. I know it's expensive, but it, Trust me guys, it's going to be worth it. Save your gold, buy your Arcana pages, and kick some ass later on. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed that tutorial. I had a lot of fun shooting it. So make sure you guys go ahead and like and comment and subscribe as well. Make sure you follow the Facebook page of Arena Valor to get yourself 200 gold and 100 gems. Till next time guys, peace.